After I did a video about the One World Church months ago, I got to thinking. Years ago, I did a video wherein I showed an ex-Muslim who decided to leave the Islamic faith because he saw Catholicism written into the Quran, especially when it came to Mary. Many people laughed when I said that Rome will get Muslims to uplift Mary in the same way they got the Jews to not only keep Sunday holy, but to pass laws allowing Jews to break the real Sabbath. Well, I just ran across an article the other day that is about a year and a half old. For those of you that laughed when I said the Muslims will uplift Mary in the coming days, what say ye now? Check this out. Also notice something else here regarding all this. I posted that video about the One World Church coming to fruition back on February 14, 2019. I also did a newsletter on it way back in the year 2000 about the foundation of that long prophesied church being permanently set up. Yet I looked online, and I have yet to see a single video about the One World Church from any Seventh-day Adventist preacher. But if you saw my video about the SDA Church sending their tie to the leader of the One World Church, who happens to be the Pope, it has now become obvious as to why they won't say anything negative about the One World Church. Worse yet, I couldn't find any of the leaders talking about the Quran being written by Rome and the mosque being named after the Catholic version of Mary. But again, that's to be expected when you see how all the churches, as well as the SDA Church and 3ABN, have been declaring for years that Allah is their God. And so again, topics like this will never be addressed in any apostate church on earth for fear their man in Rome will get upset and cut them off politically as well as financially. And yes, the main crux of the matter for both the underlings as well as the actual leaders in the seven-day Adventist conference as to why they cannot see what the obedient remnant of her seed have seen for decades is because, as I've been saying for years, the obedient student of prophecy will be given eyes that see, but the apostate leaders will not. Because the only way to understand prophecy is to obey the God that wrote it. Thank you for watching. God bless.